legs, wait up! Huh. You're fast. Huh. Huh. What'd you find here? There's something devious about this fire legs. And there's only one thing that can come from a devious fire. Campfire stories! Oh yeah! I mean, we, we gotta get everyone here. Come on, Legs. There's lots of stuff to do. All right, who wants to tell us the first story of our first campfire? Oh, me, me, me. I have the best story of all. Uh, all right, go ahead. Do, 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 I'm a big old stupid head. Hey, Mac. What? <laughs> it's not a real story. Okay, for real, this is my story. That's it, you're, you're on a timeout. Aw. Mac, I, I have a story. You actually have a story, Jimmy? Yes! Well, it's, uh, really me just reciting a, uh, an episode from a show I like. Alright, well, it's better than Sawyer's. Go ahead, Jimmy. Uh, okay, we open up in the desert. Save me. Water. Water. Doctor what? 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 It's been two years and we still don't know That's how it goes Doctor what? Doctor what? Doctor what? Doctor what? Doctor what? Doctor what? He goes and does some stuff In his magical chair he'll go anywhere Cause he's bored So bored Doctor what? Doctor what? Doctor
can't hear you. Water. Water. Oh. Water. Listen, man. This is gonna sound weird to you, okay? But I just came Water? from a freaking portal, man. A freaking time machine. And I, I, I didn't bring any water with me, okay? I'm sorry. I, you, hey, don't cry, okay? We'll get you some water. I'll get you off. Uh, Dang, you're ruining all my plans today. Why did you have to die? Water. Listen, I'll, I'll, I'll get you some water. Water. But just know that you ruined my whole freaking day. Okay? Water. Water. I certainly say this isn't boring. <sighs> here. Right. Right here. Yeah. I found some water just over there. Here, have some. No, I, yeah. Have some. I don't drink that. Why not? It's Arrowhead. That's disgusting. Here. I only drink the Zani. This, it's, it's, it's water. It's not the Zani. It's, it's water. It's not the Zani. Listen, do you want to die or not? <laughs> to drink the Arrowhead. <laughs> Look, I'll, I'll drink it, okay? I'm no, sense. give me water! Give me water! Oh. Water! The water! Look, you did. <laughs> you ruined the water. Water! And now... Uh. Uh. You're just gonna... You're just gonna die here. All right, see you later, buddy. <laughs> Will Dr. What go back and save the man? I wouldn't personally. He, he's pretty unpleasant. Tune in next week to find out what happens. Well, Jimmy, I have to say, that was terrible in every single way. Well, what do you mean? That was fantastic. No, Jimmy, it wasn't. Yeah, there wasn't even some kind of moral at the end of the story. He just straight up dies. As far as you know, just wait until I tell the next episode. No, 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 no. One, one story per campfire, Jimmy. That's, that's the law. Oh, well, if you're so great at telling stories with morals, then why don't you go next? All right, I will. The story I'm about to tell you has one of the best messages written in a children's book. Once there was this tree, and she loved a little boy, which is a bit odd to be honest. I mean, I would understand if the boy loved a tree, but a sentient tree loving an actual boy because he climbs up her trunk? That's eh. Anyway. One of the little boy's friends heard about this tree and sought it out himself. Unfortunately, he took a wrong turn and found something else. Oh, I can't believe I'm gonna talk to a tree. Uh, hey, are you that giving tree? For leaves' sake, I am not my sister. That is the fifth time this week. I am so sick and tired of her getting all the attention. Okay, bye. No wait. I may not be the giving tree, but I am a giving tree. All right, what do you get? I have lemons. Lemons, huh? Yes, beautifully nutritional lemons, full of vitamin C and solid fibers. Care for one? Uh, no, I'm, I'm good. I don't need a lemon. Oh, uh, thanks, I guess. Go ahead. Eat it. You want me to eat a whole lemon? Eat the lemon. I'm not going to do it. No. <laughs> It's not fair. No one is ever going to love me if there's nothing for me to give. Look, I think I found a way for you to make me happy. <laughs> How? Step right up. Come and see the talking tree. 
Only $25. Wow, thank you. I don't know how I feel about this. You want me to love you, right? Yeah. Then talk to the people so they don't ask for a refund. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> uh, Guten Hog. I am Tree Scientist, and this is Tree Doctor. We want to examine your tree for science. Fat chance, Tree Doctor. That kid loves me too much. He would never give me away. No, sir, no. I, w I would never just give away my precious tree like that. Oh, don't worry. You will be heavily compensated. What, it, what is this? What it... Wow. All right, uh, it, it's all yours. Excellent, wunderbar. Three doctor, let's get to work. Wait, what just happened? Get away from me. You see, you see three doctor? Hold it right there, right no. there. That Wait, is where we will be digging for hold science. It. Hold it. Oh, shush, little tree. This will hurt a bit. Begin oh, chop. Okay, just, just be careful. Ah, 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 ah. Like his sister, the giving tree, he was totally destroyed and was ripped of everything that he was, just to make a bratty kid happy. The end. What? What kind of story was that? The best story you're gonna hear, that's what. That was horrific! I thought you said this was a children's book! What was even the moral of the story? Never trust children. Well, uh, lesson learned, I guess. Alright, now it's my turn! No way, dude. I'd rather have legs tell a story. Let me tell a story or I'll drown your Corvette! Uh, fine. Just go. It's probably gonna be stupid anyway. A long time ago, in the 1960s, there was a child with a serious pill addiction who lived in an orphanage. Naturally, he wasn't very happy. Not because of the whole missing parents thing, though. He really didn't care about that. He was just sad that he was a constant loser at every game conceivable to man. He sucked at Monopoly, Twister? He couldn't even play dominoes right. I mean, come on. You just stand them up and knock them down. How hard can it be, you idiot kid? But one day, he found the game that would change his life forever. Hey, Janitor, how do you play this thing? That's Mr. Janitor to you, kid, and I don't have to show you nothing. I was a professional battleship player back in my day. You ain't getting me back in the game. Okay. All right, kid, you twisted my arm. I'll tell you how to play. All right, kid, the game's called Battleship. You get your boat, you put it on the ocean grid. You're trying to guess where the other ships are. You get a hit, mark it with the red peg. You get a miss, mark it with the white peg. Okay. There's five ships. You got your carrier, five hits. You got your battleship, four hits. You got your destroyer and your submarine. Three hits. And lastly, the patrol boat. Or as I like to call it, the dinghy. Two hits. You ready to play, kid? Well, I'll give it my best. Then let's go to war. B4. 
Miss. Uh, kid. Are you sure you should be taking those? Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, but I like them. Yeah, but do you even know what's in those, kid? Stuff. All right, I just wanted to make sure you knew what you were putting in your body. Hmm. Let's continue. Your turn. It's killing me. I can't believe it, kid. You sunk my battleship. I did. I won. Oh, I've never won something before in my life. <laughs> all right, kid, don't don't rub it in. All right, no one likes a sole winner. I've beat a retired professional in a game that I've just started playing today. Don't make me have to shoot you, kid. <sighs> all right. It's time for me to show you the most important thing in the game. I invented it myself back in 1905. It was me and Albert Einstein. He tried to make a formula to try and see how I did it. What a chump. Here it is. called the Dinghy's Gambit. You can only use it if J and I-10 are not hit. Move at any time. This is the wisdom I give you. Now go out there and destroy all those kids. Right. Thank you, Janitor. Mr. Janitor. Did you want some? And that's exactly what that kid did. That afternoon, every kid was humiliated with his skills. Why was there an 80s montage in a story that takes place in the 60s? Hey, I didn't interrupt your story with stupid questions. Yeah, you're being so disrespectful right now. Alright, sorry. As I was saying, he was undefeated. But the next day, the kid would be faced with his biggest challenge yet. Orphan children, I would like to introduce to you our newest orphan from our Orphan Exchange program. Uh, he came from a very far place, let's see, uh, California, actually. Uh, please give a warm welcome to uh, Kyle Ivanov. Let us go catch some waves, fellow comrades. Hey Kyle, could you uh, tell us a little bit more about yourself? Hello, all orphans. I am from California, thus explaining my accent. I am here to get adopted from mommy and papi who were working at NASA. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the, uh, conveniently, this orphanage is near NASA headquarters, and I can't wait to observe all their rocket plans. A little fun fact about me, Kyle I Ivanov, is that I am the best battleship player in the world. 
Miss Miss Teacher, may I go unload my equipment? I mean, baggage. Thank you. Hey, Kyle. Oh God, I've already been spotted. Where's my cyanide pill? No. I heard you talking over there. And you said something that caught my attention. In the these. Well, you called yourself the best battleship player around. In well, in these parts, that title belongs to me. Oh, thank God. You want to challenge me? That's right. Okay. Let's put those skills of yours to the <laughs> test. All right. We shall play. May the strongest boat stay afloat. May the strongest boat stay afloat. C7. Miss. Uh, G6. Miss. This is your last chance to surrender. I know exactly where your dinghy is, and it will be eradicated. My Russian battleship is impervious. Why is Russian? Just move. F9. Lucky hit. Does not matter. D3. Miss. Impossible. F8. Hit! E5. Miss. Uh, F7. Hit. I don't understand. G10. Miss. F6. Hit. You sunk my battleship. Show me. Show me, please. The dinghy's gambit. Well played. Well played. And so, the loser kid became the winner kid. Unfortunately, his victory didn't last very long. Those pills were full of ketamine, and all his organs were shutting down. The end. Huh, that was actually pretty good. Yeah, gotta give credit where it's due. Good story, Sawyer.
I told you I was gonna tell the best story at this campfire. Mac, come in, Mac. What is that? Oh, it's just my walkie-talkie. My walkie-talkie? Pilot, come in, pilot. Are you still alive? Yeah, I, I'm still alive. Mac, you have to gather everyone. There's something that everyone here needs to know. Oh, well, that's convenient, because we're all gathered here by the campfire. Hello! Alright, listen up. I found some ancient drawings that reveal an ancient mechanism that can destroy this whole island. Apparently, there are five torches placed all around, and when all are lit, they create this beam of pure energy. They all combine to make some kind of volcano. A volcano that will wipe out all life. Wait, did you say you're having a campfire? Uh, yeah, me and Legs found it this morning, so, uh, we just decided to do a campfire story night. Wait, you didn't make this fire? No, it was like that when we got here. <gasps> oh, 